Psalm 119 verse 9. It says, how can a young man keep his way pure? By living according to your word. At Shiloh, we are blessed with seasoned teachers of the word who are diligently uh, supporting the, the young children in their journey of faith by teaching them the word of God. And as a matter of fact, we have one of the best curriculum uh, which is tailored uh, to fit the different age brackets and classes of children. That is the kinder stars, the mental stars, the preteens, and the teens. So we understand that if the children understand the word, that is one step to winning uh, or of one step to, to defeating the giant. As the teens and the children's church, our focus is very clear. We dedicate 80% of our effort to teaching the word of God and 20% in co-curricular activities. That is quiz competitions, reciting memory verses, and then music, dance, and drama. Yes, we totally understand that the devil uses music, dance, and drama to attract our young children. And we, we counter using the same elements of music, dance, and drama. And in this, we are in position to attract them as well, engage them, teach them the word of God, and send them off as strong believers. As a church, we have a powerful system called the G12, or the government of 12, uh, which is inspired by Jesus and the 12 disciples. And in this, the children and the teens church have also a G12, where we have 50% uh, of uh, the leaders there who are um, pastors and ministers' children. So we, through this system, we actively engage them in active leadership of uh, the ministry. And uh, this has helped them to, to, to grow spiritually and also appreciate and understand what their parents actually are, are doing in ministry. And uh, as a matter of fact, these young people have, uh, have small groups that they steward. So this has helped them to... to, to more develop their leadership skills which are very essential in ministry as a teacher as a leader uh mine does not end at uh, just teaching but i take the initiative to reach out to them most of them are uh in boarding schools so i reach out to them uh to find out how they are uh managing especially when it comes to the challenges that they face as as pastors and ministers children so in this we get the opportunity to share different experiences uh i give them words of encouragement support them in decision making so this helps them to keep in the faith and grow stronger the giant is real whether you know it or not and uh, he has put a lot of efforts to destroy the next generation so i want to appeal to the parents uh the teachers and all guardians. This is supposed to be a combined effort if we are to defeat the giant and prepare our children for the next generation. Thank you.